Hi guys, welcome back to the last minute revision. So straight on the uh, questions and answers. Here, so these both approaches can be uh, can work in uh, ECD and uh, TLS. So look at this. Uh, there are several approaches to implement the global citizenship education and each approach has its own importance in their context. According to this statement, which approach is an appropriate to enhance the student's academic performance? So again, uh, this uh, document has been prepared based on the, uh, the supplement have been provided in, and the links have been provided in study guide two. So standalone stand subject, curriculum, integration, extracurricular, both B and C. So that will be fine if you're gonna first case your answer and after go to the uh, description. So instead of directly and uh, looking at the answers that not to be considered as in a practice. So the answer you'll be finding in the <clears throat> in description. Number two, uh, to provide the different types of learning support, enhance the experience of teaching and learning, value of existing knowledge, enable the learner's participation, interaction between teachers and the students, healthy discussions, feel valued, foster collaboration, and respect cultural diversity, diversity, uh, well-being, teaching and learning approach, learning environment, learning support. So another thing, uh, these questions are advanced. And uh, number three, uh, global citizens' education emphasizes the teaching and learning practices. It focuses learners' engagement in different choice about the teaching and learning process. That approach is called uh, teacher-centered, learner-centered, reflective approach, and constructive approach. Again, I'll, I'll, I'm keep repeating about the keyword. So you should now focus on the keyword in the questions. So you can see here, global citizenship education emphasizes the teaching and learning practices. But the first stat statement is talking about the teaching and learning. So teaching relates to the teacher, learning related with the students, but you have to focus on what is the most important uh, component of this question. It focuses learner's engagement. So the question is very clear. If it is a learner's engagement, so what it will be? Uh, Teacher-centered or le learner-centered or student-centered. Uh, the purpose of ses assessment, <clears throat> now this is the second thing you can see. The first part was global education or citizenship. And then now the second part is talking about the uh, the assessment. Now, uh, you'll be finding, you know, the multiple uh, questions with the same options because uh, the demand is keep changing. So the examiner may, might ask you about uh, pre-assessment and uh, baseline assessment or diagnostic assessment, assessment of learning and assessment for learning. So the pur purpose of assessment that typically comes at the end of a course or a unit. Now, again, the keyword end of a course or a unit of instruction is to determine the extent to which the instructional goals have been achieved and for grading and certification of the student's achievement. According to this statement, which method is the appropriate the measure the student's attainment? In pre-assessment, diagnostic, assessment of learning, and assessment for learning. So here I uh, must uh, add that uh, the summative and formative assessment. When an assessment is a part of your report card, that will not be formative assessment anymore. That will be summative assessment. Suppose your class observation. So class observations, uh, uh, is an umbrella of the formative assessment. But once <clears throat> you have assigned 
and the task in the classroom and evaluate the student's performance and and that assignment is has been uh, if that assignment is graded and you embed in the report card that will not be uh, formative anymore Uh, the purpose of assessment that typically comes at the end of the course or unit instruction to determine the extent to watch uh, which instructional goals have been achieved and for grading or certification students achieve. According to this statement, which method is appropriate to measure a student's progress? So that was an uh, attainment and there's a progress. So these are the very common terms that uh, uh, the KHD and uh, the other uh, inspecting bodies are using for their uh, inspection. So you have to be uh, careful and I'm sure you are familiar about that. It's important to assess students' knowledge, gather key information about what students know and are able to do prior to instruction, what type of learner he or she is and to know the learning style. So how uh, do we can assess these students, you know, on the level of the learning? Uh, we assess at the middle of the term, we assess the, the, at, the, at the beginning, or we assess at the end. So these and uh, the terminologies are very common. If it is the beginning that we consider the pre-assessment, diagnostic, and, and, uh, and term assessment, both A and B. So you can uh, think the answer. Number seven, again, uh, these questions are related with the code of conduct. So there are the several other questions are related to the code of the behaviors. And, uh, and the statement has been taken from the do's and don'ts of your document that you have signed. Uh, the code of conduct describes the overall objects of educational professions within institutions and commitment to the uh, to follow the UA values during uh, educational uh, duties through their actions relationship uh, with the students, parents, colleagues, administration, and society. According to this statement, which one of the following behavior relates uh, interaction with the students? Option A. Uh, motivate students to pro, uh, protect and highlight the capabilities of the country and to contribute to its development and prosperity. Adhere to moral values and norms that uh, prevail in UAE society, respect the values of citizenship, promote the values of the Emirati community in the hearts of students and guide them towards a sense of responsibility towards the issues of their community. Commitment to work, ethics, and fulfillment of the duties to the best of their abilities. Respecting the customs and traditions of UAE in school or at the workplace. Number eight, personal behaviors are the most important at workplace. The federal authority of the government human resources describe the expected behaviors of educational professionals at workplace. Which statement associates with the performing job duties? Ensuring that students receive adequate educational tuition in accordance with the prescribed curriculum, preservation and use of property facilities, teaching ads and decide uh, devices for authorities purposes, respecting the customs and traditions of the UAE in schools or the workplace, uh, disclosure of the presence of employees with whom they are related to, has a marital relationship or affinity up to the second degree in the same workplace or within the same direct uh, supervisor relationship. The UAE law encourages respecting and taking care of the custom traditions, feeling, and desires of others. According to this policy, which one of the following is the acceptable behavior for UA customs and tradition? Uh, discussing religious topics that provoke division that constitutes uh, sectarian or religious difference and that are outside that uh, the approved curriculum of Islamic studies in the country. 
uh, addressing topics related to the internal or external policies of the country or the dissimulation of news, rumors, and false statements and taking about any current events or events related to the directives and policies of the countries that would provoke a strife, disturb public security or harm the public interest. C. Considering Emirati tradition and customs when discussing sensitive topics such as politics, history, and uh, genetics if they are within the scope of the lesson. So this uh, C part is important for another aspect that it's not allowed that you have to the political uh, situations in the classroom and uh, are given a biased statement about any country. So it's prohibited according to UAE law that you should avoid at every uh, extent. Engaging in the conversation uh, within students about the sensitive topics that do not serve a clear educational purpose associated with the agri the curriculum. So uh, you have to choose the best answer. And uh, I must add uh, one more thing that uh, in four options, either it's uh, ECD or uh, pedagogy TLS or other uh, subject specializations. Uh, the two options are irrelevant. They don't have a connection with the question. However, uh, the other two, uh, they are interrelated and uh, very close to the question. So only the one point will be making the difference between them. Uh, the last question, uh, I guess so. Uh, the state of spam or unwanted commercial emails in the institute during working hours could best describe as uh, using unapproved social media and computer systems in the education institutions in a way that adversely affect the school, spreading rumors and negative news or making inappropriate comments are through any form of the social communication, including electronic communication, making public comments especially outside the official working hours aim and uh, detracting from the reputation of colleagues yeah. or authorities of the Ministry of Education or education in general. Disclosure of curricula and examinations content. So that will be considered uh, the emails, uh, spam. These are the uh, so these are the 10 questions, however, I'll be sharing the answer keys in the description. Uh, just again, I'll, I'll, I'll repeat. And that after the exam, so uh, please, uh, you must share the questions uh, that you have received and faced. Okay. So you have my email and uh, my WhatsApp number even. So you can share with me if you want that uh, these questions should uh, must be shared with the uh, teachers who will be appearing in the exam because that will be the great help as I'm helping you currently because the teachers have been provided support and uh, feedback so I have collected these ideas and uh, this is what exactly I'm doing okay. And uh, again, <clears throat> uh, my, um, my last point that uh, still uh, many of the my viewers you know, and they haven't sub subscribed my channel yet. And uh, if you think these resources are useful, and I'm 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 just a king because of you, and I don't have any my personal interest over here. This is what exactly and. Uh, um, this is what my channel deserves your likes your feedback your review and uh, we are a youtube family and uh, you can understand better so again good luck and i'm still working and my whatsapp's there if you have any problem okay i'm not going to sleep today uh, so please uh, whatever you need from my side go ahead